Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page for free. So before we dive in, if you don't already know what Brizzy is, it's an awesome WordPress page builder that helps you quickly create awesome websites. And you can check it out at brizzy.io, or you can just go to the link in the description. Either way, it'll get you there. But you can see it's actually very easy to use. And they've had this built-in front-end builder here that you can just easily add blocks to and use different categories to create a beautiful website. And I'm going to show you how to actually create a landing page in Brizzy for free. And to get started, we can go and click Start for free up here in the upper right. And then we can choose Brizzy Cloud where it says Hosted by Us. So let's just click Try Cloud for free. And here it's going to bring us to this area where we're going to have our projects. So here we can just click create new project. And I'm going to do website and landing page since we're going to be creating a landing page here. Let's just click create. And within this area, we can actually name our project. So in this case, I'm just going to name mine landing page, something nice and simple here. And then I'm going to then click edit project. And that's going to bring us into where we can start building our page for this landing page here. So it says start building our page. You can press this to add blocks. And once we do that, we're going to see that there's all these different blocks within here. There's also different layouts at the top as well. And there's other options over here with different categories of different block types over here as well. So it's awesome and easy to get started with this very easily. If you want to just use one of these, you can. But I'm going to go through the process of mixing and matching some blocks here to give us a unique layout and show you how you can quickly do that and reorder them and make some basic changes as well. So let's just go and say we want to add this one right here. You can just simply click on it to add it to the site. And then if we want to add some more, let's add in a few others. Let's also add one for features and we'll just find one that looks good for features for us. I'll just go with this one right here. And if we go down, let's add another one. I'll add one from the pricing section. And I'm really just choosing random ones at this point. But let's just go and add this one right here for pricing. And we'll add one more and let's do a testimonials here. So we'll find one that looks good for testimonials. I'll just do this one right here. So these all have similar colors and that's part of why I chose them. If you wanted to, you can actually go back here and go with the dark style as well. And you can look at what these will look like if they were a darker style website design here for your block. I'm just going to X out of this for now. And let's go into some basic editing on here. So if you wanted to click on this image to change it, you can just do that. And from here, you can do a few different things. If we click on the image icon, we can choose if we want it zoomed in or not. You can choose to change the image or delete it right here. And let's say we want a new image up here. We can just go and click this and then add an image from our computer. And then it will load here in a second. And I'm just doing this, just putting a random image on here. But let's just say this was for a photography website. Then maybe you want to put something related to photography over here. Improve your photography skills I'll just put and that's how you could do that and if you like that text you can leave it but you can also change the typography right here it gives you lots of different options if you want to change that change the heading type change where the text alignment is the color as well you can change all of this stuff right on here very easily or you can just go through the color picker as well and pick something that you want for your website I'm just going to go back to what it was but it's very easy to change text here so let's just go down. If you want to change spacing between sections, you can see if you hover over it, it says 80 pixels. You can literally just go and shorten the space or expand the space between. Very simple to use right here. Within this, you just click, drag, and, and pull it whichever direction you want. You can also add in other sections as well by just clicking the plus. And let's say right here you have these prices, but you don't like this one, even though it's probably like a featured one. You can just Go right here, click on it, and then click the trash can to delete it. And then it makes it three columns wide. So that's how you would delete something. Very easy to do this. And if you want to, you can easily just change the text in here and link a buy now option. So if you click on this, you can see right here, there's this link. You can put where it links to, and you can put it to go to a payment page or something like that in this case. So it's very easy to do this and make these changes go into effect. 
Once you're happy with how you design your website here or your landing page, then you can go and then just click publish right down here and then update to make it go into effect. And now we're actually going to link it to our website. So I'm going to show you how you can get it live on a brizzy.site subdomain name and also how to use it on your own custom domain name. So it's really easy to do this. So what we're going to need to do is go down here into the lower left and we'll click go to dashboard. And within the dashboard area, we can see that by default, it has this as our landing page right here. Now, if we go and we click on these three dots, we can go to where it says publish and it will pop up with these different options of how we can publish our page or our website. So the custom domain name, I'm going to show you in a second here, and that is linking it to your own domain name. So if I have tomswebsites.com, I can easily link it to the custom domain name. It's a couple steps, but I'm going to show you how to do that within Namecheap as an example. But first here, I'm going to show you that you can use it on a subdomain name. So it's going to be on a brizzy.site name. If we just click this and click choose, you're going to need to put in your account or log into your account if you don't already have one set up. It's free to sign up with here. So I'm just going to pause the video and log in real quick here. And now I'm just going to hit create account and I'll log into this account. So it says successfully logged in and let's just go up here, publish, and then we'll click on choose for subdomain. So right here it says pineapple and these random numbers and then dot brizzy dot site. So if you wanted to make it something of your own, you could make it like Tom's landing page dot brizzy dot site and then you submit it and that is how it would go into effect. So if let's just do that, we'll submit it. And now you can see right here, it says Tom's landing page dot brizzy dot site. If we were to right click and open that link in a new tab right here, we're going to see that there is our live site. So if anybody goes to Tom's landing page dot brizzy dot site, this is what would show up with this enabled. And there is our website right there that we just created in a couple minutes for this landing page. Now that is the easiest way to do it, but maybe you don't want this dot brizzy dot site. And that's what I'm going to show you here next with this landing page. So if we go in here and we go to publish, let's go to custom domain. We'll click choose. And in here I'm going to just put www.tomswebsites.com and I'll just click submit. And right now it says it's linked to a different area. So what I need to do is go into my Namecheap account or whatever registrar you have. I'm using Namecheap as this example because tomswebsites.com is registered at Namecheap. So what I do is go into my domain list within Namecheap after I log in. And then we can see our website domain name right here, tomswebsites.com. I'm going to click on where it says manage right here on the right side. And now that this is loaded, I just should point out to you before I go any further that you need to purchase a domain name to be able to set it up with a custom domain. So I purchased tomswebsites.com. It was like $8 or $10 or something like that with Namecheap. They're very cheap domain names. So if you want to have it on this custom domain, you need to actually purchase the domain name. So I just want to be transparent about that. And if you can't afford to have it on your own custom domain like this, you can easily keep going the route with it on the .brizzy.site option. And with that out of the way, let's go over to the advanced DNS settings here. And if you see over here, it's asking you to change your DNS settings. So you're going to go to advanced DNS. And then right here, we can see different things that look very similar to what we see over here. So it says www, CNAME, and then it says Tom's landing page dot brizzy dot site. So I'm going to just copy that information. I'm going to make sure this says CNAME, www, and then I'll just paste this in here. So you want all this information right here to match up with these two sections over here. So then I'll go down here and I'll grab this required data. I also want to make sure that it says at for the host and a for the record. So you see host is at type a record. And then I will just paste this in right here. And now we can see it says 34.237.47.210. It says the same right here. And to make this go into effect, we're going to save the changes by clicking this little check mark on each side. And now it's going to go into effect. Now you can see that it says our current data and it has the wrong name right here. 
if we wait for a little bit it says it can take up to 48 hours generally it doesn't take that long but it could take up to 48 hours so just know that is the case if you wanted to you can refresh right here and you can see that now it's already showing the current data when it turns green it was red just a second ago and now it's green so if we were to go to tomswebsites.com let's just go copy this and I'll paste it in and now when it loads like this you can see that it's our website right here on tomswebsites.com and it's in effect just like that so it's that easy to set up a landing page for free now with Brizzy I really hope you enjoyed this video and were able to make a free landing page with Brizzy here if you were able to create a landing page for free and you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and share it with other people out there who also might be looking for a free way to do this also feel free to subscribe to my channel for more WordPress related videos thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day